எல்லாருக்கும் வணக்கம் ரொம்ப சந்தோஷமாக இருக்குது இந்த ஒரு ரொம்ப ஒரு முக்கியமான ஒரு நாள் இன்றைக்கி தட்ஸ் மதிய ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் மகேஷ் அண்ட் மாலா ரொம்ப சந்தோஷமாக இருக்கான் அவங்களோட இந்த புக் ரிலீஸ் அன்றைக்கி இங்கே வர முடிஞ்சு ரொம்ப ஐ மீன் திஸ் இஸ் அ வெரி ஸ்பெஷல் ஐ மீன் லேண்ட்மார்க் ஃபார் ஹர் ஐ மீன் ஐ எம் ஃபீலிங் ஸோ ஹாப்பி ஃபார் ஹர் and wishing her the very very best uh, the book has got amazing reviews uh, and uh, that's what is so uh, that's what makes us so happy and uh, in fact uh, it's a coincidence that our family is also part of this occasion because there there is something that i wanted to share is our uh, uh, family uh, that is my great grandfather for for the last 120 years has been dedicated to the uh, um, serv- service of uh, women's health and our uh, very uh, my mother has been very uh, has been practicing for the last so many years and this is we specialize in uh, medicines for infertility so it's 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 quite a coincidence that uh, uh, we are also part of this whole occasion and our uh, uh, we feel really happy mahesh and all the best to you and um, wishing you the very best akarathukku sandoshama irukku covid ku apra adu therinjavungala stage la evlo per jambangal jambavangal like medical field la film la singing la ella great artist irukanga enna pesu sonnaanga musician ku vandu vaasikiradha easy dance speaking i guess but very happy to be here and nariya um, reviews in the book of the padichittirundha i was looking forward to get my copy i have my copy and uh, what a wonderful start for this evening uthravan nikrishna sang really beautifully well avangala paakumbodhu engalukku enna inspiration a irukku nalla practice pannanum thonudhu inno thank you and i wish uh, malaji all the very best and many more to come thank you namaskar uh, friends of the mahesh family great musicians on the stage my dear friends um you know writing a book is no easy feat because uh, you take a piece of paper the first few lines come out by the time you finish the paper you're convinced uh, it is not so good and then you leave it and the next day you read it you're convinced it's very bad and you junk it so so many scripts lay scrolled up inside our uh, waste paper baskets uh, that um, the idea that you pick you have to actually find a good enough idea to stay invested in it uh, for a very long period of time when you're writing a novel and as in as it has been said by mala and mala's daughter that it's an 11 years of effort so for 11 years you shouldn't get tired of these characters and the settings and their predicament and this is indeed uh, uh, you know a, a testament to the fact that there has to be some depth inside this so when one is looking at padma's life and uh, trying to figure it out there are so many layers inside padma's life which is uh, so unique um, and it was in 1900 100 years before and around that period um when a woman didn't have a child it was uh, you know literally curtains even if your husband loved you and if your husband goes and takes another wife and as a child born uh she's so excited and i started getting a feeling that i'm going to see uh, yashoda and devaki kind of a phenomenon here you know because uh, your raising somebody else's child and then when the child slips and falls it's like oh my god it's like uh, what has happened and then the trials and tribulations and the love of the husband but what struck me was um, the kind of um, quality of victorian literature inside that where in which she moving to another house and then uh, becoming an agriculturist and raising money and wealth uh, and thereby retaining her status that seemed uh, a very uh, positive uh, strong force uh, you know in the agrarian society in that time women were just about getting educated and to be able to 
think of a character which is a real character in this particular case that she could sufficiently give wealth but the, the, there is so much of complexity in the character it's not just a pure nice person diamonds come in family politics come in and um, you make mistakes and then you recover and this is one such story and when you are counterpointing it with a uh, hundred years later and then things are so different right so you have but the tribulations are the same so when i was reading this uh, story i was um, you know fascinated by another great book uh, which i had you know come to know and re read and seen and it's called the french lieutenant's woman um, it's by john fowles and fowles writes about it in a way uh, where in which uh, he was fascinated by one visual of a victorian woman standing on a quay side um, and she used to work in some family and she was sort of uh, disgraced and she stood in the quay side uh, in the near the looking at the sea so based on this visual he kind of conceived the entire story and wrote it and there also you have this triangular structure of uh, a man another woman and uh, this trials and tribulation money coming in going and all that but what was interesting is something for you you know the intercut that you see is there in the film but in the book it's a different it's three possible endings but when it became a film with harold pinter they intercut between the lives of the actors and the uh, characters written and it keeps cutting back and forth so maybe there is a film in your book so <laughs> so maybe the next thing to do is to make a film where you intercut probably you'll have to look at a slightly different structure and get harold pinter involved or some you know person but uh, <laughs> yeah so there is definitely a story inside this and um, it's worth making into uh, something so i i do hope that you um, your dreams are fulfilled in a, such a manner and um, uh, and naina's character is far more complex than padma's it becomes uh, so much more um, intriguing uh, but uh, having said that it is truly um, uh, i i mean courageous to write your first novel like this first of all cutting back and forth and time making sense of one story is difficult making sense of two stories is even more dif difficult and then trying to uh, you know talk about subjects like um, you know there is this famous uh, matru suktam by shankaracharya uh, where um, he who after losing his mother astam tavadiyam prasudi samaye durvara shulavyatha nairuchyam tanushoshanam malamai sayasa sambalsari ekasya pina garbhara barana kleshasya garbhara barana kleshasya you know this is something is such a important aspects but it is swept aside it's not discussed you know and um, it requires the courage of a woman to write about the real agony that and the pressure that this can bring about and um, since psychological terms as your daughter is a practicing psychologist uh, ivf treatment actually induces a lot of um, trauma of emotional trauma for thing it inf inflames the emotions of uh, people so all these things that you have written has solid psychological backing as well as um, you know your own personal research so i would do hope that you write more novels and um, continue writing and uh, please write about men also <laughs> please write about <laughs> please write about music <laughs> we are all fascinated by music and we know all of you are fascinated by music and uh, do hope that uh, you make this into a film and it should be seen by a larger number of people thank you day in many ways first we had a brilliant young vocalist uttara unikrishnan who sings so beautifully and of course why not it is in her legacy her father such a great musician her family is devoted to music so uttara more and more strength to your voice and to you god bless you the second for me as an artist i was observing 
what was going on and I felt so touched that Mala was here, her daughter is here and feeling so proud about her mother's achievements. And there is Mahesh there and Mahesh, uh, Mahesh's son there, Mala and Mahesh's son. The whole family rooting for Mala. I know how special that feels. Absolutely, absolutely. So God bless you. Because of course you, you sing in so many places, but when Sai is sitting right in the front row and he's steering me, it gives a very special feeling. If my daughters are there, it is even more special. So I know what Mala is going through at this moment. This is what families are about. So hats off to the Mahesh family for being so well bonded and supportive of each other. That's the second reason why I feel this is a special evening. The third is what Mala has written about. I have heard the great writer and thinker Maureen Gaffney write and speak about four different reasons or purposes that we have as human beings. The first is we want to protect ourselves. We want to protect ourselves and protect what we value. That's the first, she says. The second is we want to bond with people. And we also want to make intimate bonds and make a family. And of course, make children. That's the second very deep motivation for human beings. The third, we always want to keep learning and learning and learning and growing. And the fourth, we want to achieve. We want to receive accolades. We want to receive affirmation and approbation and acclamation from everybody. So these four goals of every human being, Mahala has translated into these two characters and brought them together. And within their world, within the home, within the village, or within the city, within Naina's home, how these two women achieve and realize these goals. The context is different. It's not a, you know, a corporate world or a politician's world. It's the world of women and working women, but their achievements, every little milestone is a step forward in life. It's a self-actualization. And yes, finally, at the cost of sounding a bit sort of feminist, I'm going to say that it takes a woman to know a woman. And Mala, you know women because you have lived it. And you write about these women so beautifully. So congratulations. I'm sure, as Rajiv has said, this will, by God's grace, get made into a film. And we'll all congregate together to watch that film. Thank you. All, our, all in the dais, uh, Dr. Mail, Uni, all of you all. Rajesh, sorry, I'm a writer, I can't, I'm not a speaker, so then that explains this paper. <laughs> so thank you so much for, for coming to my book launch. And thank you all for your kind words and encouragement. Uttara, we are your great fans, and thank you especially for that song. Uyramni, uh, it's so touching. And me too, love you for your genuine affection and admiration. Thank you so much. The idea for this book, Padma, came from the stories my grandparents said about the life in the villages. My party, he's 99 years, is a compassionate and an excellent storyteller. She told me about a woman, my ancestor, who endured endless humiliation and harassment because she couldn't conceive. And this lady was targeted by her family just for this one reason. Both my grandmother and I felt that it was unfair to blame her for something that she could not, that was beyond her control. This was my inspiration to write Padma. I want to write a story imagining the pain and isolation such women would have felt and the impact it would have had on their lives and on their family. 
My initial plan was to write a uh, story about a character Padma and her uh, struggles with infertility. Setting the story in 1900 Kerala. I mean Kerala because we are from uh, Kerala. We are like basically Kerala Ayers, so that's the reference. I based the uh, character of, pa of Padma on a mixture of personalities from our family that I heard of from my grandparents. The women in those times were homebound, yet alert and resourceful. I'll share one of the anecdotes that my grandmother had told. There was this woman who was traveling, uh, again one of my ancestors, who was traveling uh, first time in the train without a male companion. And by mistake, her son put her on the wrong train traveling the opposite direction. This Pavam party had no money and a child to take care of. But this courageous lady managed to find help and return home safely before her son realized his blunder. And I hope some of that presence of mind trickles down to this generation. I faced a lot of challenges while writing this book. One, of course, was time. While I managed to finish the first draft by 2014, my work and other responsibilities slowed the editing process. However, it was my dream to publish the book, so I pushed myself to sit through the bleak days of the lockdown and got to the finishing mark. Another challenge was making up fictitious name for villages in Kerala. No matter what Malayali sounding name I came up with, that place already existed. So. The strong, loving character of Sheshadri, Padma's husband in my book, was inspired by my grandfather. He was big built, imposing, a little terrifying when he got angry. We used to call him Bam Boom because he had a loud voice. He was also, but he was also affectionate and generous. And he had his own way of showing his love for my grandmother, which would actually embarrass her and make her blush. So, as I researched for my novel, I was a bit surprised that the taboo surrounding infertility still exists globally. One of the main reasons for the stigma is, if, is that the will the subject is not well understood or talked about. As a result, those struggling with the issue, especially women, struggle alone. At one, end, at one end of the spectrum, there are people who pass snide remarks and judge the women for her lifestyle choices, even if the problem lies with the man or with both of them. While on the other hand, there are some of us, me included, who have become so conscious of saying something wrong or saying something hurtful that we quickly change the topic when this thing comes up. But our sympathetic expressions on our face could be equally damaging. So I added another character, Naina, set in present-day Mumbai, to make the story more relevant to the current times. While the problem these two women face are the same, the way it manifests in their lives, affecting them and their loved ones, are unique to their times. However, both are victims of patriarchy. For Padma, it was insults and accusations from jealous relatives who enforced unfair rules and societal standards on her. While Naina had a lot of resources on her at her disposal, a past secret seeped in misogyny threatened to be her undoing. While our society should be ideally supportive and non-judgmental, it's not always the case today, let alone in 1900s. So how can we help people like Padma and Naina, insensitively termed as barren, to move forward in life? Perhaps the only way is to look inwards and reflect on our own shortcomings and genuinely empathize with their struggles. Because when you understand a person, kindness follows. Here, I would like to, like a quote, like to quote a phrase from my book. Truth and courage are interlinked. Whenever your courage fails, staying on the path of truth 
will give you the guts to stick to your convictions. I hope my book creates a level of empathy and, unawareness, and awareness about this uh, issue. And it's not as if the people are heartless or uncaring, but sometimes we all get involved in our life and we don't have the headspace or the time to think about somebody else's problem. If my novel leads to more discussions in public, encouraging people to share their pain, their experience, providing a path for others to follow, then in some way, some small way, I would feel I've done justice to the suffering of my ancestor and other women like her. Before I conclude, I'd like to thank my husband, Mahesh Swami, my daughter, Mithila Mahesh, whether she's Dr. Mithila Mahesh, we like to say that. <laughs> and my son, Murli Mahesh, son-in-law, Ajay Desikan. I'm so fortunate to have your full support all the way from writing, editing, and now promoting Padma. You all equally deserve the credit for bringing this story. Love you very much. I'm also thankful uh, for Un P. Unikrishnan, we call Unni, Uttara Unikrishnan, Team Silver uh, Tree, who worked along with Mahesh to make this Chennai launch a success. And sitting here, all here and down ahead, are a group of warm, generous people who have come here just to cheer me on. I'm so grateful for your love and friendship. Thank you all so much. Please join me in all in uh, giving my friends and family a, a big hand. I hope you all enjoy my journey, your journey with Padma and Naina, and I look forward to hearing your thoughts. Thank you very much, and have a good evening. Thank you.